Hey, what's up everybody? Chilling here at Knockdown City, home base on a nice breezy Central Florida afternoon. Um, really excited to talk about my new addition, my 2019 Beaver Tail Micro Skiff. So excited about this boat, man. It's amazing. Uh, been out on it a few times. Um, it's been a couple weeks since we've had a lot of wind. Um, been working a lot, doing a lot of things. Anyway, um, got, I think, one video already posted uh, where I caught a nice snook. I don't think I got any other footage. Anyway, um, so I wanted to show the boat a little bit. And um, first off, talk about um, things that are real important to me. Um, a great product is real important to me. Customer service is super important to me. Um, Beaver Tail nails it. Both of them. Amazing. Uh, the entire build process was, I've never made a major purchase that was this easy uh, and this satisfying and just, I, I can't say enough good things about Elizabeth and Eric and, and the entire team over at Beaver Tail. Um, I, I went into this situation buying this boat based on just doing research online um, and I had seen a few beaver tail skiffs around. Look, I said, man, that's a nice boat, you know. But I kind of went into it blind in a lot of ways. They could not have done a better job of making me feel comfortable about the purchase. And the product is just absolutely amazing. Um, basically, I emailed Elizabeth. And uh, Elizabeth and Eric are the two people I dealt with the most, and I don't want to discount their entire team because I didn't meet anybody else, but they've got to be amazing because their product is. Um, first off, I emailed Elizabeth and said, hey, I want, I want to buy a boat. She said, that's great. And she emailed me a list of options. I fill out the, the form, the options I want, send it back to her. She gives me a price. We agree on a price, and, um, and then she sends it sends it over to the build team and, and um, Eric, this young guy who's in charge of that, she put me in touch with Eric and um, the guy called me and we established how we wanted to uh, communicate with each other. Phone calls are fine, texts are great um, and uh, we were cool with that. At no time did I ever call and he either didn't answer or call me back within probably 10, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, if I texted, he texted right back or within the same amount of time. Uh, they're awesome. The entire build process, awesome. If, if I, I made a few changes on them during the process, no problem. They covered it, uh, delivered the boat on time, and um, I remember driving over to Bradenton because it's, it's about uh, two hours from here in Titusville. I drove over to Braden to pick the Bradenton to pick the boat up, and um, I remember just the first time I saw it, I'm like, "Wow, man! The craftsmanship is absolutely unbelievable." So I can't wait to get out there. It's in the garage right now. I can't wait to get out there and uh, just take a quick walk around, and you know, with the camera and show you all the options I picked, and just you know, just just check it out. Um, but I would, I did want to say up front that. Um, the experience of, of ordering, the, the build, the pickup, uh, the delivery of the boat, and the entire process was seamless. Um, they're, they're just great. They do a great job. They got a great product and they know it and they want people to have it and enjoy it and it shows. They're proud of what they do and I just can't say enough good things about them good things you heard me i can't say enough good things about uh the team over there at beaver tail thank you elizabeth thank you eric thank you everybody at beaver tail um great experience so um sorry i'm ad living all this and obviously um you know enjoying my friday afternoon let's go look at the boat
All right, here we are. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of walk around and do an overview. So not a lot of dialogue and stuff like that. I'll just walk around the boat and kind of show you what I got going here with this thing. It's beautiful. Uh, just for the record, I wanted everybody to know I do still have the kayak. It is still here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't want to get rid of it. I want to have that option. But I'm also kind of crammed in here. Um, anyway, we'll figure it out. So, collapsible tongue trailer. So it'll fit in the garage because I'm not leaving this thing outside. It's too beautiful. Yeah, the uh, Minn Kota iPilot remote control GPS trolling motor. Um, more on this later because this thing is awesome. Um, casting platform with C deck on the front got the hatch open right now show you the top of the hatch better in a minute uh, battery for the trolling motor onboard charger fire extinguisher all um, options and uh, I think it's uh, I think it's eight gallon gas tank can't remember but they everything's on the, the website Oh, the wife insisted on this uh, beautiful color. Cool mint. It's nice. So, um, got some tunes. Got the Bluetooth tunes installed. Nice, comfortable seat. Got the backrest, which is really nice, trust me. The step up. Listen, I'm getting old. Step up from the gunnel to here to the polling platform yeah rod holders optional beautiful black powder coat on all the uh, the aluminum for the uh, polling platform and the casting platform 30 horsepower Suzuki four stroke um, so I don't listen I don't know a lot about outboards so far so good it's amazing trim tabs and I'm gonna go over probably a lot of this stuff like during my fishing videos and stuff and how I'm using it and everything the power pole micro which is so cool um, it it's just awesome basically I um, troll up to a spot I want to fish and then I put my pole in which right now I have in the gunnel um, rod rack stick it down on the power pole and I use the remote control that I put on the side of the um, console to deploy that, put the power pole down, and if I want to anchor up and fish, that's my push pole caddy. Man, I thought this thing would come in handy, right? Huh, it does. It's amazing. It's so cool. Because I got the uh, 22 foot, uh, I think it's Moonlighter carbon fiber push pole. To store the boat, I gotta like put the and everything's kind of a mess in my garage right now, just because I'm getting getting used to how I'm gonna store everything. But I kind of store the uh, push pole along the side of the trailer until I pull the boat out to actually take it out and go fish. So during the build, I saw another beaver tail that had this uh, optional sea deck put on their front hatch and with the logo I was like man that's really sexy it's really cool so um, I copied somebody and uh, had uh, I called Eric and I said hey man can I get this he's like absolutely I'll send you a price and and we'll add it no problem super easy so it just turned out really cool all the sea deck looks like like a teak wood feel up on the pulling platform and then I had him put the beaver tail logo right there on the front hatch um, coming back here and looking at the top of the uh, pulling platform. It's got the identical C deck to the uh, casting platform. Like I said, the uh, the step up to the pulling platform, which is invaluable. Pull the seat up and you have your lighted bait well. Really cool. It's right there. I think it's 10 gallons. Pretty sure. Inside the back hatch, there's the uh, battery for the boat, the battery switch, very cool, 
Uh, got some optional billet controls here. I added this rope wrap steering wheel. It's really cool. I thought it was going to be all black. And um, during the build, Eric sent me a, a picture of one wrapped like this. And he said, what do you think of this? And I was like, oh, man, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to have that. So I sent the picture to the wife, and she said, yeah, yeah, we got to have that. Uh, flush mount switches. Got two USB ports. Or... Uh, I'm, yeah, two USB and a um, and the cigarette lighter ports for charging various things, gauges. Um, I tell you what, man, it's just. I mean, I hope I'm not going too fast. I'll I'll look at this before I post it, and if I got to redo it, I will. But like I said, I've been super busy lately, working a lot of hours, and. Um, and stuff so I'm trying to get this video done while I got a few hours to myself um, anyway I don't know what else to talk about um, be great to hear some comments from other uh, beaver tail owners and uh, hear what they have to say especially about uh, the build process and that kind of thing because I was just I was so impressed and pleased with everything uh, leave me some comments if, if I didn't show enough or cover enough or if I went too fast this is for the pole the push pole flips up so you're not tripping over stuff up here on the deck like I said I hope that gave you a pretty good look at the boat um, once again by all means uh, if you have any questions about any particular thing uh, leave them in the in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll do my best to answer the question. Um, and man, I'm telling you, if you're in the market for a skinny water skiff, um, Beaver Tail is uh, hard to beat. Great customer service, amazing product. Thanks for watching. Peace out, y'all. Tight lines.